Welcome to this video. In two previous videos, we explained how to model a hing, how to create parts, assemble the parts, and we explained about the different type of contact in Abacus. In this video, we will continue and explain how to mesh complicated parts. As you can see, there is two complicated parts in this model. The orange color of the parts show that this part cannot be meshed by current setting. An alternative way is to use tetrahedral mesh for this part, but tetrahedral mesh is not an efficient mesh and we prefer to use hexahedral mesh for this part. At first we try to use hexahedral mesh for this part. For this purpose, we can use partitioning the part. The part is comprised of two distinct regions, a cube and a cylindrical flange. We can partition this cell and separate these two parts by a datum plane by three points. By create partition and choosing cell and choosing cutting plane, we partition this part and we can see here in mesh module that the part can be meshed by hexahedral and structured mesh or sweep mesh. For this part sweep mesh and for cube structured mesh. Now we try to mesh the other part by partitioning. We use create partition, cell and define cutting plane. And by three points we define a plane to partition this part. This plane separates the cubic part from the remain. But we can see in mesh module that a flange part cannot be meshed yet. And we use another cutting plane to separate the round head of this flange from the remain and check it again in mesh module. We can see that this part can also be meshed by hexahedral mesh and structural or sweep meshing. The mesh type is a standard and 3D stress. We use linear mesh here, but quadratic is more suitable for stress concentration. And we can see the parts. For the flange that has a hole for lubrication, seeding the part should be with finer mesh, and meshing this part will be more complicated. As you can see, we cannot mesh it yet. There are different ways to solve this problem. We can change the mesh size or we can use partitioning one more time or we can use hex dominated mesh instead of hexahedral mesh for only this region of the part. Now both the parts are meshed and the remain part that is pin was analytical rigid and analytical rigid part does not need to any mesh. We can continue and go to run this problem. We create a job and choose a name for the job. Before submitting the job, we should Note that we changed the parts and therefore surfaces are also changed and we should define surface of this part another time because of partitioning. By tool, surface, manage, 
we can edit the created surface for the flange at first I delete the pin and here is the surface the surface now is divided to two parts and we should choose both of them now we can run the problem as there is contact in this problem we expect that solving and convergence of this problem is hard there will be lots of increments for convergence of contact in this problem we started with very small increment size and you can see there are some severe discontinuity iteration which shows that contact is important in this problem our equilibrium iteration are only one or maximum two in each increment but severe discontinuity iterations exist in every increments here we can see the stress distribution in each flange we also could plot the contact pressure between the pen and flanges I hide the pen and this contour shows contact pressure between pen and flanges thank you guys for watching this video I hope this video has helped you out if you like to watch more videos about Abacus software please subscribe to our channel see you guys in next videos